So I was dead just about to start the video, but I think I left my d pen in the car. Don't wanna show y'all my house. I'll fuck around trying to come back and shoot us. Okay, it's cool. It's a little dark outside. <laughs> I left. I left the keys in the house, okay. Okay, y'all, we're in here. Look at the moon up there, all mysterious and shit. Okay, let me put y'all on. Oh, sh Oh! So let's address the elephant in the room. Y'all see the new cute chrome heart beanie and I got the matching chrome heart glasses to match. What's up? What's up? Like what's up? Who's with me? I'm not gonna lie, the purchase made more sense when I made it. I just feel like it's just not with this outfit. Like this gives like what was that? You know what I mean? Like this is this gives like chain smokers vibe. I just don't like this. Like I feel like Jason Derulo, and that's not like that's not something I want to feel like often. Let's go ahead and move y'all back. All up in my mouth, like, okay, does my breath smell good? What's up, K-Mob motherfucking Bay Mob? Ah, what up, what up? It's your boy Keith back again with another bippity boppity banger. And today's video is another story time because I know y'all missed it. Now, let me apologize for my last YouTube video. Real ratchet, real hood. It, you will never see nothing like that ever again. First off, someone just, I just saw a comment. Someone was like, my sister in a fishbowl, but the tent's coming soon though. First off, now you're blocked. I don't know, Cheviana's never just, you know, I never had to go get tents with her. Y'all know I'm very transparent with my life and I like to show symbolism with that in my car. So that's why I ain't got no tent on there. Enjoy Cheviana while she can, cause I'm telling y'all when that new I come in, I get that no no. I don't hear nobody's mouth. Now y'all gonna miss her when she ain't had no tent though, right? Oh, uh, okay. Don't let me get rich. Don't let me get rich, cause I'm I'm buying Porsches, but the, the tent gonna be 1%. We are gonna have to be in that bitch like, huh? Anyway. I have been a little nervous to make another story time because YouTube just like, I don't know what's wrong. Like YouTube was my sister for a while, but we beefing right now. So she keeps demonetizing my videos. I don't know what the problem is. So I'm just gonna basically try to watch my mouth and watch what I say, but also like, I'm here to entertain you guys. So we have to find a middle ground somewhere. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social medias. They'll be tagged down below. And I also have the pop tags right here. Join the K-Mob. K-Mob is a group of young, pretty, lit, fly. As soon as you click that subscribe button, money is coming, grades are up, and skin is clear. The universe didn't put me on your explore page for nothing. Like, you were sitting here to fall in love with my gangster. So. But go ahead and click the subscribe button, because, you know, we gonna love you here. So this happened literally the year after that story time happened with my first fight video. And I'm not sure if I mentioned the girl that I dated or not. I'm pretty sure I did though. But basically this all started because this girl that I used to date in middle school ended up dating this one boy who dad used to try to book. Like what's up with people? I'm like I used to let people get away with too much. But this boy used to try to just talk to me stupid. And mind you, I was never just a confrontational person because I would never grew up like that. But this is like the way that this happened, it was just like, girl, you so shysty. And then to be to be asked for rides to work after is so crazy. So let's go ahead and just throw it all the way back like a 10 year challenge. This happened about freshman year, I believe. Not I believe, like I'm so proper and fancy. But not cause, it was really like freshman year though. I have to do like a backstory on me and this boy's relationship cause we had history before this event even happened. So me and the boy used to play for a football team, right? And the football team, like I already just, I hated everything about this team. I hated having to go to practice. I hated the boys on the team. I hated the coaches. I hated every, I hated my parents for even making me go there. I don't hate my parents though, but I was mad at my parents, you know, cause you know, her coworkers is watching it. I hated everything about like sports. If you had thrown me in, like a tag or something, you know, the ultimate tag, I promise you I would've excelled. Shit, cheer, like, I feel like at the end of the day, my parents knew. Like, mind y'all, I had the highest voice. I feel like they put me in the sport to, you know, get that feminine out of me, but it didn't do nothing but, you know, make it stay there a little stronger, so thank you. Thank you for that. But with not liking the sport, I didn't like watching it, I didn't know anything about it, so I would come to practice literally ignorant. Literally the exact dictionary definition of ignorant was me. Like, I would come there not knowing how to do shit. We would be running plays. I thought that as offense, you're supposed to just make sure they stay in the same place. So I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna literally show y'all. So we'd be in our stance like this, and they'd be like, uh -huh. and I would just be like, but mind y'all, when we had did that one play, offense was facing this way. Like, so basically like behind the camera, I didn't understand that offense could either be going this way or that way. It depends on like where the ball is going. Y'all right, get it, y'all get football. But I didn't though. So I thought every time that we were facing this way, we were on offense. So we'd be doing plays in defense and I'd still be in there like, 
I was the only boy that was in there that was like feminine. I didn't know how to like interact with these boys. I wouldn't say my social anxiety was like real prevalent here, but I could talk to you, but as soon as you gave me like a, <laughs> I'm done. Like absolutely I'm done. Now it's just like, I'm not even gonna start it. I'm not even gonna try it until you come up to me. So this boy, he was like, you are too older than me. It's always these older niggas. So this particular boy, we gonna call him Monte, right? So Monte was about two years older than me. I would just never forget one day we was in a locker room and he was talking mad shit. And I was like, oh, okay, like this particular argument happened years before I even saw him in high school and years before that fight happened in middle school with that boy. I had the courage to get up and be like, okay, like what's up? I figured in my head, he couldn't really hurt me because I had pads on. We were about to go right into a game. Like, what are you beefing with me for? We got a scrimmage. This is exactly why we'd be losing. So we were at this one football stadium in our city and there was rooms for both the teams, like private rooms for them to do like their huddles and shit for halftime with, with the wolves. But he was talking mad dookie. So I was like, okay, then what's up, Monte? What's up? Okay, I, that. I was like, okay, but you're still sitting there talking, not doing nothing. Wow. So, I didn't think no one was even gonna hear me, but every bitch on the team, I was sorry, you and this is messy. As soon as I said that, it was, ooh, okay, and you're a woman. What are you doing trying to instigate right now? So, he walked up to me, he was talking mash, and he was like, my face, he was like, in my face, and I didn't do nothing. He was bigger than me, he was older than me, like, when I say bigger, I don't mean just taller. I mean, he has some weight, like a human pork rind and football pads. I didn't want no problems. So, boom, fast forward a few years, me and this girl, at this point, we had been real close. When we dated, I feel like every Everyone in middle school knew I was fruity, like obviously everyone knew I was gay. But me and her, we would like make out, we was kissing, we was doing a lot. Like I haven't touched that coochie a few times. No skin to skin though, it was never no skin to skin, we're still kids. But you know, the fact that I even had my hand where that pad was supposed to be, was crazy. We ended up breaking up because I remember she had told this boy named Ty that she wanted to break up with me and he came and told me. So the next day I'm walking with her, we holding hands. I'm like, so you wanna break up? Cause Ty just told me this. And she was just like, this is why I don't tell him, this is why I don't tell him nothing. Okay, but bitch, are you single right now or not? Like, and I know it's gonna be one weird bitch in the comments who will be like, Keith, that's so weird. How could you play with a black woman's feelings like that? Da, 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 da. First off, bitch, it was kill or be killed in this camp. Like, I has to do what I has to do. Y'all knew what was up when you signed up for this. Like, look at me. Me and the girl pretty much got close from middle school to high school, and this is why I feel like she really snaked me out because let me tell like, if my man's cheating on me, let me know. basically her man was known for cheating on her. No one ever caught him, and no one ever had like video of him, but it was always word around the hallways, word around the street, like, oh, he cheating on her or he in jail. It was never like happiness, joy, peace, virtue, mm -mm, none of that. It was just straight infidelity. And I dare, I would never forget, he was always talking to people stupid, like that little, I don't know what was going on with his parents or his at home life, but they need a life coach in that bitch. There was a few times throughout the school year where he was like yelling and pressing females. And it's so crazy because y'all remember when that white bitch came on the internet trying to say that I used to bully girls in my school and I was DL and I used to force them to do whatever they do and they didn't do it, I would hit them. Um, first off, DL where? We knew I was fruity. Hey. You talking about some, I used to press bitch. He used to press I would never forget when this one girl named Tani walked up and said a joke to him and he cussed her out so bad. And Tani used to have a slick little mouth too. Like it was nasty. And I remember just saying that and I was like, oh? I remember thinking like, why does he feel so comfortable talking to these women like that? And why is his girlfriend never check him? Because if I was any of them, your girl would have got beat up. Okay, yeah, you could talk to me like this in this hallway, but now you're getting jumped. So what's up? I just always used to think like, if he's talking to these random girls in the hallway like this, he gotta be talking to her stupid. Like he has to be. And God forbid that he did anything else. But like there was rumors and we would all just be like, I mean, damn, because she was the type of girl where, like, you can't tell her about her boyfriend. And she wasn't the, like, cutest girl on the outside, but the inside, she was dope. Like, that was my bitch. She was like, why would you give me junk? Why you fake? Yeah. Why one day in the hallway, I literally, I see it. I see it for my eyes. Him cheating on her with this girl. Like, he's walking down the hallway with this girl like this. He's kissing up on her neck. He's kissing her on her cheek. Mind you, we're walking in a hallway. Like, you know your girlfriend skipped class. What are you doing in the hallway just being an open cheater like your bitch not a delinquent? I run into her. She's talking to him. I said what's up to him. He said what's up to me. It was never like weird. Ooh, I forgot to tell y'all. So, I don't know what got in my head. I don't know what told me to tell this boy this. So, I was like, okay, like, we can make a little joke here and there. So, I Asked him, I was like, oh, how are you and Fadriana? And he was like, oh, no, we're good. Like, we're chill. Why? What's up? I was just like, nah, I just want to see you. Y'all trying to start conversation and whatnot. Why do we see her walking down these stairs, right? And then, so him and I pretend like we were whispering to each other. And I was like, she a freak, huh? Why would I say that? Why would I say that? And then he gonna say, and how do you know? And I promise you, I had no inkling that I was weird. I literally in my head thought, That's, this is a conversation starter. He's gonna think I'm funny. The only thing I heard of him not liking it was when she was like, why would you tell him that? I was just like, oh, my fault. Did he find it like offensive? Like, I thought it was pretty clear like I like women. And she was like, no, he thought it was funny. So clearly you wasn't as healed from the situation as you thought you were. I sit there in the hallway at a normal meetup spot and I start walking to the other building with her. As we're walking, I was like, listen girl, like I'm coming to you as a man. 
a gay man. I definitely saw Monte cheating on you with this girl. And he was kissing her on her neck. He was kissing her on her cheek. Hand around her, smacking her ass. Like, I'm not gonna lie. You need to go find out what the boiling point is for sugar. Like, right now. And get to a crock pot. So, she just obviously has the regular reaction. Like, I can tell, like, when people tell you stuff like that, you are probably really embarrassed. But you know it's not your fault. I know it's not your fault. But it's just instinct for you to just kind of get, like, more closed off and act like you don't give a f when you really do. And I could tell that. So, I tried to comfort her. And I was just like, girl, like, you deserve better. Honestly, like, I'm just gonna support you whatever you do. But I'm just letting you know, like, it's happening and I saw it from my eyes. So let me, uh, how the f did this happen? So after that period, I had to go back to the building that we were just at, right? And there was this vending machine and I never eat from this vending machine. I always go straight to my class and I don't even go the way, like I can go to my class either. So let's say back here is the other building that I just left from, right? I could either leave from that building, go the short way to my class, or I could go the long way, but I will stop at the vending machine. Never have I ever stopped at the vending machine a day in my fucking life. One time I decided to be a greedy big I got that ass to her. So I didn't have no money on my debit card. I only had like a $20 bill in cash. And y'all already know how vending machines are. Whatever you put in there, you're getting everything back in quarters. So I was just like, damn, but I was hungry. So I walk up to the vending machine, right? I'm just sitting there with my iPhone 7 Plus. I got my headphones in. I'm just sitting there. I'm just listening to my beats. Like, what's up, what's up, what's up? Y'all get the gist. So why, as I'm waiting for my meal, you know, it takes forever. The popcorn just taking forever to spend. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, but where's my food at? And I see a group of wild moose. I mean, DeMonte and his friends walk up to me and I'm just sitting there like why are they mad close like I can see in the peripheral I'm like why are they mad close so I look at them and I'm like what's up so I'm thinking they're about to ask me for some food I'm like Ugh, you niggas is broke all y'all do is not be in class you could at least go get some money <laughs> all I could see was his face and he just visibly looked mad because the music was playing mad loud in my ears so I took it off I'm like wait what happened so why would you tell my brother I was cheating on her to get in and run her mouth too much her and I'm just like, oh really? So at this point, I'm not scared to fight. Like, yeah, I already know what it feels like. So what's up? I put him up easily. E what's up? What? 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 You know how I give it up. So, but no, I didn't get that opportunity. Why? As soon as I was like, okay, what? Pull on my backpack. I'm on the floor. As soon as I could tell that he was about to fight and he was wanted to fight me, I was like starting to put my backpack down. No, you're coming down with it. One of his henchman moose monkeys grabbed my like. You know. It was this backpack. Isn't it crazy that it was this backpack? So I had that shit on. You know, I had one of the, I, you know, I ain't have one of them cheap ass Jan Sports. I think that's why that was awesome. Now I came for money. Girl, he pulled right here. That body weight flew back immediately. My body dropped like metal to a magnet. I was just like, damn. As I'm falling down, I'm thinking like, <laughs> I'm about to get fed up, aren't I? <laughs> I'm about to get fed up, aren't I? <laughs> Mind you, this is a passing period, so there's mad people around, so I'm just like, this is about to be so embarrassing. Like, not gonna lie, I was one of the littest bitches in the school. Everyone knew me. Everyone knew Keith. Did everyone like Keith? Not necessarily, but everyone knew me. So it was just gonna do nothing but give fuel to people that didn't like me to be like, oh, okay, he can't fight. Okay, but I'm gonna get him up there every time though, so what's up? Okay, so y'all gotta see my bench against a little ghetto, I'm sorry. So I'm sitting here on the floor like, <laughs> I'm kicking like y'all. I have not ever had this much. I was over. I promise you I was sweating at the end of the fight. <laughs> yeah, you might jump me, but you're not getting no easy fight though. Like, what did you think this was? Oh, you thought because I was fruity, I was scary? I'm just throwing hits in every which way. There's four hits. Left, right, right, left. And I'm just saying that. What? Try that weak ass shit never bitch, bitch. You will never get to fight me again. You will never get to fight me again. So security run up, we had a school with security, they was quick, so I, it wasn't too bad, but I, I did get kicked to my head a few times. I don't know who was kicking me in the head, but they was connecting. So as security gets there, they pulling us up, right? And at this point, it's just me and Monte. They basically like separate all the other boys from us, and it's just me and Monte, because Monte was the only one that was really like punching me, but he had me grabbed. So when I got like enough space around me where I could look and see who was hitting me, because you know I had my eyes shut, you was about to just hit me in my eye, give me a shiner, mm -mm. not a knuckle sandwich, like not for me. So I grab him back, I'm like this awkward position where I'm not fully stood up because the security's trying to stop him from like throwing hits at me but they're holding me back so i'm just grabbing him by his hoodie scratch on his chest and as soon as security let me get up I <laughs> you will never get the chance to hit me again not with me getting a few minks in me, 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 me. <laughs> then his friend come back i feel it hitting my head I so at this point, everyone who was around our fight, who wasn't in the fight, had to be escorted away from this part of the hallway because it was like, you are doing nothing but escaping the fight and making it hard for us to start getting his ass whooped. So they got me in this corner. I'm talking dumb sh and I'm like, what? 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 Who's gonna put their hands on me now? Who's gonna put their hands on me now? Nigga, you a bitch, nigga. Oh, you wanna kick me? Oh, you gonna kick? Oh, you gonna kick? Bitch. 
Get your I was just so mad, y'all. I have never been embarrassed like this, and I have never been jumped before. Like, I didn't think jumping was real until, like, it happens to me. Like, there's stuff that happens in your life where it changes, like, the chemical imbalance in your head. That was one of them. Like, that was really one of them for me. So, y'all already know I was in trouble. I was like, I ain't even tripping, though, because I ain't scared. I ain't go out like, no. And so we had a look at the security footage and y'all, oh my God, so embarrassing. I'm thinking, so when I told you when I was on my back and I was throwing all them hits, I'm thinking I'm really just serving shots. I'm just nying, nying, nying. I only connected about a good 10 out of the 40 I threw. I was on the floor, okay? When I finally got up, I was nying, 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 nying. So don't think I don't know how to thump because I get down like that. They just did absolutely way too, because you're cheating on your You jumped me because you're cheating on your so I'm sitting there thinking like, you know what? I'll never help her again. I'll never help her again. You need a ride to work? You better catch the 169 to the third stop and then cop on the 150. I don't know what I can do for you. Cheviana's doors aren't opening. So they end up giving me an ISS and I was kind of irritated. I'm like, I'm getting ISS because I defended myself. And they were like, it's a strict no fighting policy and my hands are pretty much tied. They came up to me. They came to me. So if I sat there and I let them whoop that ass, then what was gonna happen? Ugh, that bitch on the hood, you ain't gonna hit me and get away with it. Oh, my mama's mama, you not touching me. Like, what's up? Call my parents. My parents was even tripping because they were like, so what happened? And I told them exactly what happened. Okay, so I didn't tell them I told the girl that he was shitting on her. They're gonna be like, why are you in bitch's business? They told me about that. Stay out of woman's business. And I was like, I should have. They were like, oh, they're gonna have out of school suspension for about two weeks. Um, I need them gone. The way that it's did me in, you think because I don't see you for a few weeks and you come in after spring break, you're not about to have to squabble it up? There was three different security rooms and this particular security room had a hallway into the other counselor's office where they had the other boy right I don't know where they put everyone else they must have had him in the other offices in the other building and the other office on the other side of the building that I was already in one boy in the office right next to us and then one boy that came out of a different office and he was in the waiting room waiting for his parents to come pick him up he was like trying to fight the principal and shit so he had to get expelled like they were like no you're too ghetto I find it so funny how as soon as he tried to argue and fight this principal turkey gizzard looking ass it, it's expulsion but don't let him hit me though I hear one of the office ladies say just sit here bleep I'm not even gonna say his name. I don't even got time to make up a fake name for him. We gonna call him Turkey Neck. And she was like, okay, sit here, Turkey Neck. And I was like, I didn't even make a like a like big reaction. So I just sat there and I waited. And then the security guard was like, okay, do you wanna go into the ISS room now or do you wanna sit down and you know chill in this office? And I was like, we can go to the ISS room because I knew as soon as I opened that door, Turkey Neck was gonna be right there. He opened that door, Turkey Neck wasn't even looking my way. <laughs> I'm talking mad. All you hear is, hey, hey, hey. Security guard's like, so he's so he's trying to hold on to his little walkie-talkie right here. He's trying to talk to the other security guard. But mind you, he's trying to get away this fight, and I'm throwing banger. I'm throwing knockers. He's like, hey, we need back up. Turkey Neck get his big monkey ass up and start running towards us, and pushes me and the security guard to the wall. I'm still just, nye, nye, nye. Next thing I know, as I'm sitting there whooping Turkey Neck, all I see is his friend coming in. I'm like, oh, Jay Leno wanted too? Boom. When I hit him, I did felt like that chest plate. So I think I might have hit him a little too hard in his chest, but sorry, don't come at me with full momentum. I'm gonna send that kinetic energy right back through you. So it takes like 30 minutes to stop that fight because there's a boy on this side trying to fight me, there's a boy on that side trying to find me, and there's a security guard holding me back right here. They taking books and homework outside their backpack trying to throw it at me. There's only two sheets of paper in there. You ain't got nothing. Oh, not you throwing Webster dictionaries. Okay. You missed every single one of them. I'm talking, I'm just antagonized. I'm like, ha, you're mad, you mad, ah, you mad, bitch. Ah. I was talking bad shit because I mean, you wasn't. You thought you did you really think that I was gonna let you do me that bad and I wasn't gonna get my lick back? All of them got kicked out the football team. I got ended up getting real suspension because I instigated a fight and I started a fight by fighting the other boy the second time. But I didn't really give a fuck. My parents was actually happy, so they wasn't even tripping about me doing that either. I still went back to school that next week and I was like, listen, I have respect though. I have respect and I got my lick back. Who wanted next? Me and Fadriana were never really like too cool after that because it was always awkward. Like she knows she did me wrong and I know that she did me wrong. So there's no point in us talking right now. A few years later, we ended up working at another job together. She will always ask for rides, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of held like resentment for it because it was just like, um, you got me beat up. So yeah, that's really about it. After that fight, I never saw them ever again in public. Me and her, like, we cool now. There ain't no bad blood. I don't really care no more because I watch our boyfriend's ass, and I'm pretty sure they broke up. So yeah. <laughs> And that is really it for today's video. I felt like I just recorded this mad quick. I feel like there's probably not gonna be that much footage, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get y'all at least 20 minutes. Y'all know me. I know how to finesse a little keyboard and whatnot. I feel like my pacing and my story times are starting to be a little bit better. I'm starting to ramble a little less. I'm starting to get to the main points of the story. And I feel like y'all with it. Do you? Hopefully this video at least over like 20 minutes. Like, you no, know, I'm I'm a goat. So it's really nothing to me. Like, I might make it 30. <laughs> but that's really about it, y'all. Please don't try to step in people's arguments and please don't try to step in people's relationships. It's gonna always 
and bad for you because you're going to look like the one that's being messy. I should have realized she did one better for herself, okay? She wanted her warthog to go around and ripping around the streets and come back to home to her. He knew where home was at. At the end of the day, he all knew where home was at, and that's what I missed. So that was the bigger picture. I've never gotten into a fight after that. I'm going to... Wait, is that true? Oh my God, I never told y'all. Why after the fight, like when we was done with the fight and the security ended up getting everybody away? Remember I said I was in that corner and they was holding me? Why I was like arguing, I was like, let me get my... I look back, all my money gone and my chips. So I just got my ass whooped for nothing. I never touched that vending machine ever again. A day in my high school career, I just felt like it brought bad juju to me. That's it. That's that's it. That's it. I will see you guys next week for another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Also, make sure to follow, please, please, please. Will you please follow my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Twitter? Like, I am more active on YouTube, and I am posting at least once a week. But I'm trying to start for two days, but you know, it's, it's hard. I'm not Ricky. I don't know how to bust a video down like a wig and stuff. So I'm, I'm trying my best. But shout out to her. She's a goat for real. Yeah. Love you guys so much. Stay rich, stay lit, stay fly, and stay young and pretty. I love y'all so much. Bye. Was it or was it not a funny story time? I never was like, I hate my fucking parents. My mom blew mine, and her co-workers, I guess, saw whatever.